Let's get going. Good job. Correct. Good job. Correct. Correct. Good job. Good job. Correct. N1 refers to fan, low pressure turbine speed and N2 refers to compressor, high pressure turbine speed. It is important to monitor the N1 and N2 gauges to ensure safe engine operation at all times. There are two N1 sensors mounted at 5 o'clock and 8 o'clock position on the fan casing. Other important perimeters to monitor during an engine operation include temperature and pressure at different engine locations. In the F404 engine model, the engine start is initiated by placing the power lever angle or PLA in the ground idle position and monitoring the engine starter. The starter then rotates the N2 compressor assembly while the N1 fan assembly is free to float and assumes a speed relative to the compressor engine airflow. At approximately 10% N2 speed, ignition is activated followed by fuel flow into the combustion chamber and the engine normally starts immediately. As the engine speed increases, the main fuel control automatically schedules more fuel flow into the combustion chamber. The igniter will cut out automatically. N2 will continue to pick up speed until it is stabilized at the designed ground idle engine speed. The entire starting sequence usually takes about 30 seconds. It wasn't that hard. Are you up for the challenge? Let's do a rehearsal to start an engine step by step. Good job.
correct. Good job. Check the exhaust gas temperature to make sure that the temperature is within the prescribed limits. Time for real action. Start the engine in sequence and make sure you complete all the checks required. Something amiss? Time for real action. Start the engine in sequence and make sure you complete all the checks required. Something amiss? Time for real action. Start the engine in sequence and make sure you complete all the checks required. Something amiss? Time for real action. Start the engine in sequence and make sure you complete all the checks required. You are good at this. Do you know which perimeter is abnormal? Click on the fault to identify the malfunction. Good job! The compressor RPM did not increase. This is a classic symptom for hung start, where the faulty component is usually the starter or the starter assembly. The malfunction is due to insufficient power in the starter that results in the hanging of the compressor RPM. Do you know what happened? Well done! A starter must automatically cut out when the engine has achieved its self-sustaining speed, which is around 53% and 2. On the cockpit display panel, there is usually a starter cutout light. This light will only turn on when the starter did not cut out at the appropriate speed to alert the pilots.
correct. Do you know which perimeter is abnormal? Click on the perimeter to identify the malfunction. You are right. During engine starting, the temperature of the turbine is closely monitored. When the temperature rises beyond its prescribed limits, this is known as hot start. The temperature of the turbine is controlled by the amount of fuel scheduled into the combustion chamber. Therefore, a rich air-fuel mixture will result in hot start. The faulty components can be either a faulty starter that does not rotate the compressor at the right speed to bring in the required amount of air or it can be a faulty fuel control unit that has scheduled too much fuel into the combustion chamber. Good job! Good job.